Hey everyone, got an exciting little video for you today. We're going to take our Bushman's fridge uh, to the next level with a cool little mod. Cool mod? Mm. Bushman's 85 litre fridge installed in our Vista van. What I've done is installed a little fan that blows onto the cooler element of the freezer. Let's turn that on. So what I've done is I've actually wired it to the light or the wiring of the light. It's actually fused up in the back. I didn't want it to run constantly because as you can see, our van is quite small and it's literally at the end of the bed. So I didn't want the middle of the night the fan to be going plus the fridge going and at night sometimes if it's a bit cool, it's probably not required. So I actually fitted a small switch to it. A small switch is right here. So turn it on away she goes now what i've noticed that's sitting at 16 degrees that will cool the fridge down in probably half the time i reckon in an hour uh, that fridge will be pretty much cold the way that that's attached is i've got some alcohol wipes wiped it all clean and used some 3n double-sided tape so it's taped at the top it's taped at the back and that's like rock solid Obviously we'll test it, see what's going on, see if it's going to actually fall off. I doubt it will, I've had it running for a little bit. Uh, what I'll do is, as I said before, 16 degrees. We'll uh, pop back in about, oh, what have we got here? What's that? Quarter past four. We'll see what it's like in an hour. So, turn him on. We'll see what it does. So, we're at... 4.48, down to one degree. So that's a pretty good demonstration of how effective a little fan can be. I can actually feel the air pouring out of that, the cold air. So yeah, pretty good. I guess for your own information or own trial, you can turn your fridge on and see what the temperature drops down to in about half an hour. So yeah, it's pretty, pretty impressive how that, you know, goes in the really cold weather. Uh, I dare say it's probably going to freeze everything. Also, how it goes with food in it, that's going to be a completely different thing. So I'm going to continue with the testing and no doubt I'll give you a bit of a long-term review on that also. This is the type of fan that I've used. You know, what is that? It's 12 volt, 0 0.5 of an amp. So it's not going to use a heap of power. Uh, these have got a few wires on them. I'm just going to, I just use the, obviously the positive and the negative, soldered them in. Uh, if you're not confident in soldering, I'd probably leave it to an auto lack. I suppose if you're mucking around with the electrical system in your fridge uh, and actually pulling the light apart, you do need to have a very good understanding of how the electrical system works. I've fused mine, it's actually fused also through the electrical system of the van. So if you're not confident in doing that type of work, I'd probably give it a miss or get a qualified person to do so. Also, if you're mucking around with the, the fridge itself, you're going to avoid your warranty probably so if your fridge is within its warranty period i wouldn't be doing this sort of modification either so there we have a little tech boost for your fridge whether it's necessary or not you know i guess the jury's out if you've done the mod to your fridge by all means let me know tell me what you think uh as i said ours is in the testing phase so once i get it out in the bush and on a nice hot day then i suppose the you know the proof's in the pudding so yeah, if you got a bit of value out of the video, I suppose if you made it this far, if you give us a thumbs up, much appreciated. Even better still, give us a follow. We'll see you in the next one.